there are different ways to make units in curtain analysis. The first one is physical. We can make physical distinctions using time, length, size, or volume. The second is to make units using grammar in a language, syntactical. The third is to make units by creating categories, class or category is something that have in common. They have in common objects, events, people, act, country, or idea. The fourth is to come up with units using propositions. It's where there's some meaningful relationship between conceptual components is based on meaning. The fifth is to define units using themes, their strands of meaning. So these types of units, ways of creating units, we can apply to types of units in content analysis. There are four types of units. One is sampler units. For example, if we take movies as a research question, then we can sample different kinds of movies. Otherwise, and it's can uniform their cream. The second is to come up with recording units. These recording units could be based on the rules of language, syntactic, or the meaning, semantic, or themes, thematic. The third is context units. The sentence provides the meaning of semantic in a given context. But in context, in content analysis, context are not counted. The fourth is to come up with enumerating units. There are two major types of enumerating units. One is a density measure, the number of occurrences or a frequency measure. The other is a volume measure, is a measure about the space occupied by the content. If you apply these two movies as content, we can look at a data set or a content of movies in different contexts. Context, one context is to look at as movies on television. Another context is to look at movies on internet. 
So the movies on television and movies on internet we can sample as horror movies and comedy movies and create two samples for each context. Then we can decide on the coding unit. The coding unit could be words, sentences, paragraphs. So if the coding unit, if you have selected here as words, we can use words for all the sampling units. Using words, we can enumerate and the enumerating unit could be the number of times slang words appear. compared to all the words and we take the proportion or we take the cross number of frequency and that becomes the enumerating unit.